All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the High Jedi channel. In today's video, we will be discussing a quick guide to the Stardew Valley 1.4 Community Center. There are six total sections to the Community Center bundles and 26 bundles all together, not including the missing bundle and the vault. It's a lot of work, so in this guide, we are going to break it down for you in hopes of giving you a great head start to complete this gargantuan task. If you guys could, subscribe if you're new and like this video if you want the fortune teller to get permanently stuck on very happy days or something like that so let's get into it we're going to be breaking this down into the four seasons or months in stardew valley for me it's the easiest way to organize what you need for each individual month the only item that's required solely by rng to complete by year one is the dye bundle the red cabbage is only available from the traveling cart or from pierre after year one the vault is pretty obvious as it only requires some moolah to complete so I won't be going over that. Last but not least, I will only be covering the community center itself and not the missing bundle post community center. Main tips are, Friday and Sunday are traveling salesman days. Left to Marnie's toward the secret woods. She has the chance of selling quite a few community center items, especially when it comes to red cabbage, fall items, etc. She can be a lifesaver. Oh, and choose the forest farm. Great for the off chance at a mushroom. So starting off with spring, spring is pretty straightforward when it comes to completing what bundles you can. One that you can complete are spring foraging bundle, construction bundle, exotic foraging bundle, spring crops bundle, animal bundle, artisan bundle, crab pot bundle, the blacksmith bundle, the geologist bundle, <sighs> adventure bundle, and of course all of the vault. <laughs> I left out any bundles that would require RNG to get pomegranate from the bat cave, apples, red cabbage, puffer fist, etc. This guide is going to be focusing more on the good old fashioned grind. Main thing to focus on in spring is three things. One is the crops and foraging items you can only get seasonally. Second would be the fish you can only get seasonally. If you don't, it's a pain hoping and praying for Caroline of the traveling carts to grant you one. Three would be getting at least one coop bill and one animal barn. Without them, the animal bundle is difficult to complete. This will also give you eggs for a fried egg. Get a pig, a cow, a duck, and a chicken. Also, in order to finish the exotic foraging bundle by spring, you'll need to access Skull Cavern for the coconut and the cactus fruit. Other than that, the regular mines are easy peasy. Three bundles can be completed by level 80 in the mines, gold bars and fire quartz being harder to acquire. Artisan bundle is pretty RNG related, but you can usually get all the fruit and items needed mostly from just the bat cave. The honey and jelly can be good additions because they are fairly easy to make and if you get lucky from the traveling cart, always go with that option. Option. Finish the boiler room easily in the first couple weeks of spring. Now on to summer. Summer isn't going to be as hectic for completions as spring was, but there's still a lot to do. Make sure to focus on your seasonal items for foraging as well as your farming items. Also, almost all your fish can be caught by summer except for walleye and the tiger trout, which are fall fish. Finish the specialty fish bundle, ocean fish bundle, and the lake fish bundle. Get the puffer fish, summer only, and next is the poppy. Only summer crop, so you know what to do. Your pig should have truffles by now, so collect and inject or something like that. <laughs> Sunflower is also a summer crop along with wheat and hay and you'll need tappers as well for mainly for the oak resin and for the maple syrups. Make sure to make a keg as well. You only need one keg and an oak resin to throw in the community center and the keg obviously will give you the wine for the enchanter bundle. The rabbit's foot you'll need to have a rabbit in the coop. The fiddlehead fern also spawns in the secret woods in summer. Apples are going to be the main concern as well so I always try to plant at least one apple tree beginning of summer to ensure apples by fall. Same goes for the pomegranate. Like I said, not too much like spring, but still plenty to do, so manage your time. So moving on to fall, fall is easy. Don't fall behind on your animal bundle though, or fishing. The walleye and taigi trout, taigi trout? 
I don't know what a tiger trout is, but it's now available as well. Tiger trout in all rivers and the walleye in all lakes and the forest pond. By now you should have at least 90% plus of all the items needed for the community center. Red cabbage of course being the gamble item as well as the nautilus shell until winter. Check your apple and pomegranate trees and monitor the last few items you need as well. Be patient with the traveling sales lady. She can be troublesome. Make sure to complete the boiler room, the vault, and any other bundles that you can complete as we roll into winter. Winter is here. The Nautilus shell should be your last unless you still need the cabbage. The traveling sales lady spawns 32 times a year, but even with that chances can be slim, she will offer you what you need. If all else fails, you will have to go on to year two. I know it can be very disappointed to go a whole year and not finish the community center, but it doesn't happen every time, so don't be discouraged. If you want and have the patience to do so, you can do a spring run, and if you don't get the red cabbage within the 28 days of spring, just restart. I know, I know, it's a lot of work, but it's well worth it. With the community center complete, you now have access to a few more events and quests, as well as in-game items that add the oh-so-necessary essence to any good farm. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, you guys know where to leave them. Subscribe if you're new. I can now we'll proudly say we are on our way to 500 subscribers you guys yeah 500 it's crazy but I just wanted to thank you all for your continued support and I will continue to bring you videos new schedule will be coming for twitch but drop by and drop a follow and until next time guys stay lit stay up and stay high Jedi peace